Okay, so in this tutorial, let's see how we can scale down these textures using UV texture coordinates. So let's go to the master uh, preset. And uh, to do UV mapping, uh, you, you just need uh, the UV, you, you need the texture coordinate, texture coordinate function. I think they're called functions. And uh, you need to multiply that. So it will just, you just you you need a math node uh, to multiply whatever texture coordinates there, uh, so that you have control over uh, how many the tiling uh, that uh, yeah. So for that we're going to right, right click and then search for multiply. Now we can get these texture coordinates and then fit that into UVs. So we can multiply that with any constant we with by the constant we see here uh, so just to have more control over this in the in the instances we can connect this to a to a constant uh, parameter and uh, when you add that right click and then convert this to a parameter so when you convert any node any node to the to a parameter it means that uh, you will have access to that parameter in the instances. So if, say, uh, let me see, delete this, again, connect this back to the constant. Uh, we need this to be one. So let's do something crazy like 10, just so you see uh, the effect, are uh, the tiling happening. Just need to give it. You can see now uh, the texture has been small, has become smaller. You can see uh, because we haven't saved, uh, it's not been it's, it hasn't been applied uh, to the instances. So we need to save, and I will see that uh, this also reduces in size. The texture reduces in size for all the instances. Since we are editing the master, the master copy, all the copies are uh, have changed. Uh, their scale has changed as well. And I think that's a good, a good scale. But uh, if we go to the instance, you see we don't have uh, that UV uh, setting uh, to edit here. And uh, we want, and uh, sometimes we want to be able to do that for every instance. Maybe you want this to be ten, and uh, uh, for this you want it to be maybe five, uh, for whatever you reason. So, so to make this uh, value available in uh, in the instances. We just, uh, by the way, also you can just switch between these instances directly here. So, yeah, so to make this available here, we will just right click and then convert that into a parameter. We can call this UV uh, tiling. And uh, when we save or apply, I also need to save. We can go to this copy and you should see that uh, we have the UV tiling as well there. And uh, let me also open this second copy here. I think it is this mm, copy too, so that I have it there. You can see it also has the same UV tiling option because it's using uh, the same master copy. So we can enable this UV tiling and uh, scale this to whatever value you want. And uh, you can see it's not affecting uh, this other copy uh, because this is this behaves independent of any other instance. And uh, if we save, you see. That's what we have. And uh, I think this also, this ground uh, texture here is using the same texture here. So let's do another instance. Uh, from the master copy, right click, create instance. I'll call this ground grass. I uh, make sure there are no spaces, grass. So this is another instance. So 
can apply it by the another way to apply uh, the material you can select the object and go to the objects uh, details here and uh, under here you'll see the materials make sure you have the material selected and then you can click on this icon here and then that texture will be applied but I think for the ground level uh, the material is a bit uh, the detailing is a bit too much so we can go to this instance double click and uh, turn on parameters so that we remove this pinkish uh, overlay and maybe change this and make it a bit darker okay and uh, reduce the tiling as well you can preview this so maybe something like three there and now we can save so in the next lesson we'll look at uh, 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 using normal maps here uh, to add uh, that detail uh, that you see th those bumps uh, that you see in here so thank you